Before starting the Dino 6, make sure to check the following fluid levels. The engine oil, which is located right next to the oil cap if you need to add more. Engine coolant. This reservoir shows the engine coolant level. If the level is low, add more coolant to the overflow bottle as needed. And hydraulic fluid. This gauge should be completely filled with hydraulic fluid. If it is not, make sure to add more fluid until it is filled. The bearing block, located here, must be greased until grease starts coming out where the arrow is pointing. You know that it is thoroughly greased when this happens. The bearing block must be greased daily before you start dredging. Next, there are five pulleys located on the Dino 6. Two pulley blocks that attach to the front and rear of the machine, one front cheek block, one rear cheek block, and one pulley on the hoist. Each pulley should take two pumps from the grease gun daily. There are two grease certs located on the cutter head bar, here and here. You can manually turn the cutter head by hand to make the greasing easier. These must be greased every day to protect the hydraulic motor shaft seal. Three or four pumps of grease is enough. Once you have checked all the fluid levels and are ready to start the dredge, make sure the fuel is on. And the main electrical switch is on. Make sure that the pump valve is open by turning it counterclockwise. Check that all the valves are in the neutral position. Before starting, set the throttle about one third out by turning counterclockwise. Hold down the Murphy Tattletail button, shown here. Turn the ignition key. Once the engine's oil pressure comes up, you may release the button and the engine will continue the run.